Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how easy it is to drag and drop content from our latest ArcVision dashboard into the latest Revit. Uh, the first thing we'll want to do is install the RPC plugin for Revit. And the way you access that is by first installing a dashboard, which I've done here, and then you'll want to click on Plugins Software, and you should find that you have an RPC for Autodesk Revit, in my case Architecture, plugin available. I'll just click on update. That's going to connect to arcvision.com and quickly download that update. And then we're going to be prompted to install that. I'll just agree to the terms and click on install. The installer just takes a moment. Okay, and once our installation is successfully complete, I'm just going to click on finished. And it's this time we can go ahead and launch Revit. Okay, so now I've got Revit open. And by default, you'll see we have a Revit samples channel right here. This has all of the content that ships with Revit. And to place any of these objects in the scene in our, to our project, all you have to do is just drag the cursor, and click on the uh, preview image, and it's going to appear right inside of our Revit project. And if we switch to realistic mode, you'll be able to see that, how it's actually going to render. So that's how easy it is to insert a chair in our scene. Now I'll show you how to download some content that we currently don't have included with the uh, Revit package that was installed. I'll switch back to shaded mode and we'll just click on automobiles and you'll notice that some of these are blue, some of these are red. Blue indicates that the content has already been downloaded and it's ready for us to drag and drop. If it's red we can go ahead and download that and you'll see a progress bar appear the content will turn from red to yellow and then to blue. Blue indicates that we're ready to drag and drop. So I'm going to move my dashboard just a little bit and we'll drag this icon right here. And once again I'll switch to realistic mode so you can see how that renders. And that's how easy it is to uh, add an RPC object into the latest version of Revit.